my choice of a presentation has been different. Rather uh, from starting from the macro level, I wanted to start from the uh, smaller level, um, knowing that the, the stake here today is to show you the uh, continuum, the continuity and the intersection which can be uh, made between Alexander's work on the care framework and the uh, research work and development work on the uh, ecosystem-centric accounting. What can be said about uh, ecosystem-centric uh, uh, um, uh, accounting system is that it starts with the management of the environment and not uh, you don't start with the management of businesses uh, as is usually the case. So my thinking process will be to focus on asking ourselves how accounting systems, accounting thinking, and the accounting tools which derive from them can be used to organize management of ecosystems, management of biodiversity, management of environmental issues. But the question is not about uh, ecologizing businesses by, the way of, uh, by way of accounting. This is exactly what we are uh, trying to show you with Alexander, is that these two issues, these two questions are complementary. So, as I said, I will first uh, present to you a proposal which I'm making, um, uh, which I'm putting forward, that is um, a, a model of uh, ecosystem-centric uh, um, management accounting, starting with and taking up what Alexander uh, told you at the end of his presentation to uh, review how this uh, uh, proposal fits into uh, these aspects. Uh, as a forward, I want to review the basic definition of what a, an ecosystem is about. An ecosystem, in, in the sense of a natural milieu, is a system formed by an environment, biotope, and by all species which live, uh, feed from it, and reproduce. It's a mountain, it's a forest, it's a lake, it's a set of uh, interrelations between a number of uh, human, um, of, um, of beings, of living beings and uh, interdependencies and interrelations will be key notions. Another aspect, uh, by way of uh, forward, is today we have a succession of reports. We've had uh, a number of reports for the last 10, 20 years, reminding us all how important uh, biodiversity and ecosystems are and how far and fast uh, they've been uh, deteriorating. And one of the last uh, reports, IPBES, which is the equivalent of uh, um, IPCC uh, for the Biodiversity Front, take up a number of numbers, show a number of uh, alarming numbers, facts and figures on uh, how biodiversity is destroyed and gets deteriorated. So are we doomed with uh, uh, counting uh, more specifically how nature is being destroyed or can you imagine new forms of accounting enabling us to organize and structure Structure, the management of ecosystems and biodiversity and how it can be restored. Um, this is the question which I'm working on. So as I said, I'll go back uh, to the small level by uh, putting forward a proposal which is as follows. Alexander ended his presentation by telling you about the uh, capital units and natural capital units, natural capitals within us to be protected uh, that any business uh, should protect and should uh, preserve and conserve. Any business uh, preserving natural capital when it has to define natural capital and how it is to uh, take account for it very quickly such a business and this is showed by the model here up on the screen uh, needs to ask itself a number of questions on the uh, uh, good ecological state and needs to interact with other stakeholders and actors which use um, natural capitals and uh, have an impact on these natural capitals. Now, in the uh, great majority of cases, a business which would apply the care, the care framework will not be the only one to interact with the capital entity to be protected and uh, to regulate its destiny. It's only one component in a network of I complex inter dependencies and the maintenance of this ecological um, entity depends from this all. So this requires that ontological questions are addressed as well as to set up a relevant uh, scope and parameter for this entity as well as responsibilities and commitments across uh, players in order to protect these natural capi um, capitals, coordination between stakeholders
stakeholders at the level and at the scale of an ecosystem or uh, of a capital unit of a capital entity to be protected. If you raise this question, you need to go above and beyond the borders of the company to relocate it, to resituate it in another um, universe of action and a universe of accounting, which is collective and strategic management of ecosystems and biodiversity and um, environmental issues. So capital entities to be protected, which we will call uh, ecological concerns, quote, unquote, um, or uh, simply in a broad uh, sense of the term, um, do not exist in a vacuum and is always falls within ecological context and social context, which are interrelated, uh, complex interrelation, always specific interrelations. Now, to illustrate my point, Um, let us uh, travel uh, together to a fictitious uh, valley um, which is of high repute, which is the valley of the Brem River in the region of Lorraine in uh, northeastern France, and uh, to uh, follow uh, the journey of a company which is a, card, um, a cardboard mill which uh, sets up uh, a, a plant in this um, valley, in this river, um, in order to uh, revive employment. And we have two rivers, the river Till and the river Brem. Till on the left hand side, Brem on the right hand side, with a number of farms uh, um, around the Till River which have an impact uh, with the new economic uh, business uh, development, development plan with intensive farming uh, of uh, pigs, and you have another river, the Brem River, on the right hand side, which uh, flows uh, through um, uh, woods and forests and uh, flowing through the uh, town of Bramenil in color red, where you have the uh, future uh, cardboard uh, mill uh, which will um, set up operations. And also, you have a, um, um, a, a, a water, uh, um, a wastewater treatment plant. Um, and uh, you, you have uh, marshes and uh, wetland, which are in dark uh, green color, which are managed by a, um, a, a community organizations, a, a natural um, protection um, community organization, and you have a number of farmers um, which work there, which uh, manage this part of the, of the wetland. So the wetlands are managed by the uh, community organization and by the farmers. And then you have the uh, lake, the Teal Lake in color blue in the middle, uh, around which you have uh, woods and forests, which are managed by both private interest and the National Board of Forestry in France. And you have a camping site, and you have a, a, a yachting and, and sailing center, which should expand its uh, scope of activities under the so-called economic development plan uh, with uh, more people um, uh, staying in the campsite and, and using the sailing and yachting activities. And uh, you have some remainders um, of um, fish activities. You have fish um, um, aquaculture, uh, fish uh, uh, farming, um, which are uh, dependent on the quality of the, uh, the uh, water of the lakes. Now, why am I saying all, all this? It's a question of uh, getting an interest in management of natural capital. So first, you need to map out uh, the territory to identify who lives, works, uh, and inhabit this territory. The question of defining the states of uh, the good uh, ecological state and conditions of conservation can only be thought through the notion and scale and level of territory. If I go back to Mr. Roger, who is the director of the new cardboard mill, who wants to do things well, who wants to set the example uh, by way of the way his company will be run. So he will try and uh, map out and identify the natural capital that he'll be using uh, in the operation of the cardboard mill. So the uh, cardboard mill will artificialize the number of stores and will discharge a number of pollutants uh, with the risk of uh, impacting the till lake and the wetlands. So um, Mr. Roger goes around the state stakeholders of the area, uh, walks around the lake and uh, first meets uh, with the community organization in charge of uh, protecting and uh, managing uh, the wetland. Uh, and these people are very worried with the new local um, uh, economic development uh, plan. For years, uh, they've been conducting ecological uh, assessments and inventories, and they were the ones who recently discovered a frog, uh, the so-called uh, Brem River frog, which uh, only exists in this valley. 
around this river and which is uh, dependent on this uh, fragile ecosystem uh, of things in, in this uh, river. And then uh, Mr. Roger, uh, the director of the cardboard mill, meets with the uh, French uh, forest uh, board who are concerned because they want to optimize the um, production of wood uh, and uh, they, were, they wonder whether they should engage in ecological management for water purification and treatment uh, uh, of the river which flows uh, through the farms and uh, through the forests. And they meet with the fish farmers who are worried of uh, losing their uh, organic certification which is dependent on the quality level of the lake water which is dependent also and may be impacted by the local uh, the business development plan. And he meets with the farmers but a number of farmers uh, do not want to meet with him uh, uh, and so engages in very complicated discussions with farmers. So what I want to say uh, to you with all this is the question of how you define the uh, proper uh, ecological state and condition of the uh, Teal Lake and the ecosystem of the Brame River can only be thought through um, Mm, by way of uh, dialoguing uh, and uh, engaging with and identifying all interdependencies at the level of the ecosystem involving uh, all stakeholders, even though there is uh, uh, there are standards of good, uh, proper uh, ecological states and conditions of the area, these are only the inputs uh, to be taken into account in the process. Other learnings which can be t uh, made from this fictitious uh, case study is that this source of concern, quote-unquote, for the cardboard mill, uh, which is about to be set up, is not a source of concern for every stakeholder in the area. For some, it's not a source of concern at all. And um, so it's very difficult uh, for Mr. Roger to uh, successfully define the uh, environmental impact of uh, how he will be using the ecosystem uh, uh, that he should be attributed because environmental impact is relative to the environmental impact of other stakeholders and the way these impacts are understood and apprehended at the level of the ecosystem. The same applies um, as... Uh, uh, this is what the care framework shows, and the same applies for activities to maintain and restore the ecosystem, um, the relevance of which, and uh, the, yes, the relevance of which can only be uh, thought through uh, by taking into account uh, the respective impacts of all the stakeholders and the impacts on uh, restoring and reviving ecosystems. So the um, uh, mapping itself uh, can, is not the only thing uh, um, to uh, solve the issue without taking into account all the responsibilities, the impacts of all stakeholders, including all the commitments to be made uh, and decisions to be taken at the collective level. And that's exactly what the ecological contribution accounting model uh, is uh, supposed to show, this uh, model that we've been working on for many years. It uh, puts forth an accounting framework that's interorganizational, so it makes it possible to uh, structure uh, discussions and the actions of uh, different stakeholders uh, within an ecosystem. key question being what has to be counted in order to in order for the different stakeholders to organize within the um, the ecosystem and of course take concrete action the model is based on the definition of different uh, accounts uh, that create a, a, a logical framework and as um, alexandra said uh, earlier uh, it's a minimal amount of information that uh, corresponds to a key item and that has to be taken into account, not from a scientific uh, point of view, uh, but in the context of a specific negotiation. In other words, the model looks to present a uh, a, g a global vision of the different uh, items that participate in um, in this issue. The first point is to find the right definition of ecological concerns. And we're not just talking about the cardboard mill, uh, but uh, all of the uh, ecosystemic interdependencies. 
in other words, what ecological value are we looking to create? What's the target in terms of ecological restoration? The model is centered on uh, what becomes basically a, a, a profit and loss statement uh, for uh, ecological values. When defining what has to be counted, there are, of course, uh, scientific items that will help us to uh, characterize uh, the, uh, the ecosystem and, and give us in objective uh, data. And that's also why we're talking about accounting, because, uh, uh, because accounting is a highly subjective science. So we also have to see how we're going to choose to present the results we want to achieve. Uh, just, like for a, uh, just like for a business, uh, the choice of a P&L statement is not neutral. It uh, depends what the company wants to make visible or not, depending on uh, specific issues. For example, in an ecological P&L statement, will you present uh, data on the two rivers that to flow into the Teal, or uh, do you present the lake itself? And depending on whether you focus on the rivers or the lake, you will not see the same responsibilities. If uh, you evaluate the uh, ecological footprint of the two rivers, we'll be able to uh, uh, distinguish uh, responsibility for the pollution of the lake, but upstream responsibilities. Basically, when choosing what to represent in this, uh, uh, in this statement, in this P&L statement, uh, we have to make these choices collectively. The second step is to see the proper typology of uh, the main sets uh, of uh, negative pressure and how to follow up on uh, responsibilities. So the main pressures and their effects on the, um, on the targets that uh, have been identified. So a, an account of uh, ecological pressures uh, that will present the most problematic phenomena while uh, leading to the recognition of responsibility for specific sh uh, stakeholders or groups of stakeholders within the ecosystem, uh, stakeholders who are directly concerned by uh, uh, the deterioration or the improvement This is uh, necessarily uh, complicated because it, uh, it identifies responsibilities, and these responsibilities have to be collectively defined and accepted. The other particularity of this model is uh, the, ecological con the focus on ecological contribution. Wondering what uh, actions have a direct positive impact. Here we're looking for the, the main uh, positive uh, impacts, uh, so the activities that will contribute to restoring the ecosystem uh, and that are significant enough to be uh, uh, identified and included in this uh, account. This is, this is called the contributive packages will uh, find actions that have an expected or observable effect. Partic particularly because of the combinations uh, between different com combinations, uh, be between different actions from different stakeholders. Uh, for example, if the, uh, if the uh, National uh, Forest uh, Management Body decides to implement uh, protection measures, 
to uh, to uh, uh, increase to improve water management, then this contributive package. makes sense, especially if other stakeholders uh, protect systems that uh, serve the same purpose within the ecosystem. The important point is that uh, is for contributions but that contributions have meaning on, are meaningful only in a particular context, so they have to be contextualized. There, there can be no uh, absolute contributions. You cannot say that uh, any uh, expense um, directed towards restoration is uh, is positive or is a positive contribution. Uh, no, you have to see how that interacts with other phenomena, other restoration-based phenomena, uh, which will, of course, uh, be dependent on how these contributions interact on the ground and uh, to what extent uh, they're recognized in society. And of course, they're, they're concrete effects on the pressures that we identified earlier. So all of these items have to be identified at the same time in order to be able to, uh, uh, to track the key phenomena, the key actions. Another point for this uh, contribution that we're inversing the, uh, the, the dominant uh, model on, uh, on um, uh, nature accounting today. Uh, today, the, uh, the main term is nature's contributions to people, so recognizing that, uh, that nature uh, gives us contributions, that the nature contributes to the economy, to society. Here, we're seeing how uh, people can organize to make contributions to nature. And, uh, so these uh, uh, public uh, uh, accounts, public because they can, uh, uh, attention can be paid to them in society, uh, are, are involved in uh, in raising uh, awareness in uh, uh, in inspiring uh, inspiring action. The first main type of contribution is uh, accounts of uh, uh, efforts or contributive packages. Here we see who provides what effort or what expense. Uh, to protect the ecosystem, and how can how can the effects of these efforts be uh, recognized and um, uh, accounted for? There are other two main types of contributions: uh, uh, budgetary or resource contributions uh, that are brought together uh, to to contribute to um, ecosystem management. This, this gives us a, a global vision of uh, the resources uh, that will make it possible to either finance or uh, uh, finance positive actions or offset negative actions. Then we have a, three, uh, a third collective account, which we called uh, accounts of contributions to the to collective organizations. So all contributions that do not have a direct effect on uh, the the ecosystem, uh, they're not uh, uh, restoration um, activities like uh, planting trees or uh, or reducing pollution, but uh, they will help to build this uh, collective. There could be uh, efforts to uh, to manage collective life around this uh, this accounting vision, uh, ac communication, communication activities, mediation activities, awareness raising, coordination as well. Uh, seeing how these activities are uh, implemented and the the costs that they generate. A second aspect of this uh, these. 
these accounts, this third uh, type of accounts. These accounts have to be built on something. So the costs and the effects have to be known in order to, uh, to, to build these accounts. So all, we're talking about all, uh, all kinds of data management activities, data collection activities as well. And finally, uh, a final level of accounting is our private uh, stakeholder accounts to see uh, what each stakeholder gains or loses uh, by contributing to restoring this uh, ecosystem. How can every stakeholder assess uh, his action to see exactly what uh, effort each stakeholder furnished uh, or provided, uh, what, did, what was gained from it, financial um, a financial uh, contribution or something else, uh, other benefits that were taken from this uh, activity, or perhaps the the improvement, uh, ecosystemic improvement, uh, reduces uh, costs for certain uh, stakeholder stakeholders, and each stakeholder can then incorporate. Uh, his or her uh, personal uh, contributions and personal consequences on the ecosystem, uh, all of this can be echoed and reproduced in uh, these stakeholders' private accounts. A final point. We could wonder whether improving the quality of the ecosystem also creates values on other scales uh, for consumers, uh, etc. And here we see another ecosystemic vision uh, that's part of a, a, a much wider perspective. So to recapitulate, to, to summarize, we have a, an accounting architecture based on conserving or restoring an ecosystem uh, that's cause for collective concern, Identi identification of uh, the main uh, categories of things that have to be counted in order to uh, successfully manage an ecosystem, then a logical framework that um, creates interactions between main questions that uh, uh, a collective uh, main question that a collective may ask uh, while looking to manage or to manage the issue. Uh, and so the questions are, uh, are the results collectively achieved? What are the efforts necessary? Uh, are the benefits fairly distributed? Uh, what contributions uh, are the are con contrib contributions sufficient uh, given the uh, the pressures? Uh, what contributions should be supported, uh, and why? Because of their environmental effectiveness, uh, or simple recognition of uh, efforts, etc. For example, uh, perhaps uh, one stakeholder uh, under undertakes uh, an activity uh, to reduce impacts. Uh, through considerable efforts uh, without this action uh, without this action being extremely effective in uh, improving the uh, the ecosystem, should those efforts, even though they were not um, uh, very uh, efficient or effective, still be recognized all these are all the questions that uh, a collective has to uh, ask and the, the questions of, uh, of negotiation uh, that create tensions between uh, between a collective and individual uh, achievements, uh, collective and uh, collective and, and individual uh, efforts, and the difference between uh, efforts and effectiveness. So. Uh, So we're going to look at two 
main questions, uh, the basis of accounting and the question of government, governance. The first question, regarding uh, management of data. And so the first question is, what uh, data is the basis of uh, this accounting? Keeping in mind that, uh, keeping in mind that uh, even producing this data uh, can be challenging. This system is supposed to build on the existing situation. Uh, it's supposed to serve as a framework uh, to bring together all information tools and the diversity of, of partial data and partial tools and partial uh, actions that are already underway. Uh, so the uh, perhaps the uh, the cardboard mill already has uh, done a uh, uh, a carbon footprint. Uh, maybe the um, the forest management body uh, has already assessed uh, the the costs of uh, restoring uh, the uh, the lake bank. Uh, perhaps there's already been a, a study on the uh, a biophysical. Uh, assessment of uh, uh, the effectiveness of the forest in, uh, in purifying the water. Uh, maybe a, uh, an association has uh, uh, conducted an assessment of uh, the biodiversity, bio, the biodiversity richness of a site, etc., etc., etc. Or maybe uh, the uh, the economic costs of the loss of uh, the the organic label by the uh, the, the fish farmers. All of these, uh, all of this data uh, becomes meaningful in a specific uh, context. So this is a generic system of accountability, uh, a uh, framework that puts forth categories uh, that says what has to be counted and how it should be categorized, but does not give a detailed, uh, a detailed procedure on how to do so. Uh, and that uh, brings forth other questions as well. One question is, who is uh, ready to, uh, uh, to collect, manage this data? Uh, some uh, stakeholders might be uh, very hesitant uh, to share data, uh, data that uh, that might uh, point to their responsibility in environmental uh, uh, deterioration. Now, moving on to a, a governance-based approach. Uh, so far, we've uh, we've looked at just uh, mainly a, well, counting, accounting, and counting. Who can uh, who should do this, and in what governance framework? Obviously, uh, alone, uh, no system would be effective. It has to be in a uh, governance context. So this uh, accounting proposition leads to many questions dealing with the organization. Who will um, uh, make these accounts? On whose behalf, with what the conception of action, who will, who is accountable to whom, etc. This approach aims to uh, to emphasize the uh, the, the normative uh, character of uh, of the project, uh, keeping in mind that we cannot take account of everything, so it has to be a somewhat focused approach, thus the need for uh, effective governance. We have an asymmetrical vision, uh, and a group of uh, actors uh, who, will, um, who will enroll, uh, who will uh, uh, enlist 
uh, other stakeholders, uh, but these actors being motivated by a um, by an ecological or ecosystemic uh, desire. Now, what what are these actors already doing? Uh, some are already contributing. Some uh, uh, some. Uh, uh, have already taken responsibility for uh, negative effects. Many of these uh, stakeholders will uh, will feel completely will feel that this project is foreign to them. Now, what is the uh, environment like? Is uh, is uh, is the environment uh, one of trust, one of um, uh, defiance, one of distrust? Uh, in order to uh, understand this, you would need uh, real assessments on the ground. Uh, among the uh, the different stakeholders, and then uh, the stakeholders who are looking to organize themselves can uh, base their action on uh, on um, uh, relevant and uh, precise uh, information studies and uh, visions. Uh, in order to uh, define the scope of their action, uh, in, to define the roles of the different uh, stakeholders, and the role of accounting itself. A quick uh, illustration of this, using the same example, now this is obviously a very simplified, uh, an oversimplified example, but uh, imagine in this context that I showed you, the context is uh, s the status quo uh, between uh, environmental management and uh, economic development. We have uh, uh, the environment uh, department of uh, the local city hall that's uh, very enthusiastic to uh, uh, increase uh, recognition of uh, these, uh, these issues, but is looking to uh, create a consensus with the other stakeholders. It will, of course, try to uh, bring everyone into uh, the discussions uh, and manage these discussions. And in this case, uh, uh, contribution-based accounting could uh, be a basis uh, to uh, decide on, uh, on uh, thresholds, on, um, on uh, responsibilities. Once uh, it can also help to uh, uh, to define the uh, the assistance that will be provide by, provided by different uh, different actors and different uh, stakeholders, uh, and that could also be uh, beneficial for the uh, uh, for the public body for the uh, the, the city hall uh, that could use uh, the uh, that could use uh, potential contributions, potential um, effects uh, as a communication. Now, what's the context? Once again, imagine that there's a, a climate of uh, d mistrust. Uh, and uh, now let's imagine that uh, the, uh, the organic fish farmers and the uh, and the uh, uh, cardboard mill, uh, which wants to be exemplary, uh, come together uh, to try to motivate the other stakeholders uh, to uh, account for their own actions uh, with the hope of, uh, a, uh, of a better management in the future. Uh, this opens the possibility of um, of illustrating responsibilities uh, in order to bring about uh, uh, better management. Now, here's another uh, example. Uh, if the um, uh, Union of uh, Local uh, Lakes uh, receives a, uh, uh, a subsidy uh, and ends up uh, uh, as the leader of this, uh, this action, it could bring, try to bring everyone around the table Uh, and then without losing sight of the ecological uh, goals, it 
could uh, use this uh, this PNL approach to try to uh, uh, create um, a more of a climate of uh, trust, of uh, uh, and of transparency as a, a trusted third party, for example. So the, the, this model can only be uh, be imagined in the context of a social uh, model that d depends on uh, the conception of uh, uh, social activity. In each of these cases that I mentioned, the, uh, the, the PNL uh, model could help to uh, uh, put on the table different, um, uh, different questions that would help to, con to, to build a collective. And when we look at a, a case like this, then the ecological concern uh, may be at, a, at various levels of uh, maturity. There may be absolutely no recognition of the problem. Uh, think of the, 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 the frog that I mentioned earlier. If it was just discovered, uh, then uh, you know, preserving the habitat of this, uh, of this frog would not have been a pre-existing concern. Um, which would indicate a, a, very, uh, a very low level of uh, mature, maturity. This is often the case. Uh, also, often there's a recognition of the problem, but the, uh, the stakeholders do not agree on what importance to, uh, to give to this uh, problem uh, and uh, have a hard time coming to an agreement on how to move forward. to move forward in environmental management. And if, there's a, if otherwise there's a, a stable uh, framework of um, uh, ecosystem management, you may see uh, different stakeholders having made concrete commitments, uh, which would hopefully lead to uh, uh, quality maintenance of uh, the ecosystem. So for those who know the, uh, the, the, the natural cycle, at every step in this uh, natural uh, cycle, so at every, the, um, the, this PNL model will not play the same role at every step in the cycle. Uh, for uh, when it comes to uh, recognizing uh, the, the problem, the issues will be uh, 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 putting out an, an alert or uh, raising awareness. This will be much more, uh, uh, much more about formulating questions than formulating answers. It will be more a question of uh, exploration than management. Uh, and this uh, in itself can serve as a, a tool of mediation around the, uh, the stakeholders to try to come to a common understanding of uh, the emerging problem. In a more difficult context, the uh, model can serve as a negotiation framework among the stakeholders. And uh, if we're at a more advanced phase in the cycle, where the situation has been more or less stabilized, then the model can uh, serve uh, to uh, uh, as a continuous assessment uh, to to follow up on uh, contributions and uh, and actions in favor of the uh, of uh, ecological maintenance. And the proposal made here is uh, that uh, we're dealing with uh, accountings uh, uh, for interdependent uh, stakeholders of the same ecosystem, but in situations in which uh, there are no formal uh, framework uh, that uh, could be centered on the management uh, or such or such ecological issue. 
And so the question is uh, uh, to wonder uh, whether this account, uh, accounting uh, can't be the support of uh, several practices uh, able to produce uh, a collective um, action, and that's going to lead to the restoration of natural capital and uh, uh, also uh, renegotiating the different way of life of uh, each uh, stakeholder. And we come back to this notion to uh, common, uh, common obligations uh, 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 to commit to the same activity based on this uh, ecological concern, uh, which is uh, open to an approach based on uh, accounting reflection. Alexandre mentioned uh, several things earlier. Uh, uh, accountability system, accounting system centered uh, on the uh, way of uh, structuring every uh, company on giving account. And, uh, so the question is uh, how to, uh, how this uh, accounting systems uh, can restructure uh, the uh, uh, accounting system of um, uh, the enterprise. Uh, so this uh, uh, standard standardization uh, doesn't prevent uh, uh, the fact uh, uh, that uh, the practice uh, can uh, uh, conduct uh, to uh, new rules, uh, to new ways of uh, governance uh, made available by uh, the offered uh, content that uh, would be a kind of consolation. And that uh, leads us to uh, Scottish uh, uh, friends uh, coming there and uh, Shima Hussel explained in the last uh, session when they look at uh, the Gary River in which uh, um, some stakeholders, uh, hydroelectric uh, plant, uh, uh, the state uh, exchanged uh, counter, uh, accounts and counter accounts uh, and uh, uh, where uh, making uh, uh, this uh, definition of ecological account evolve. But in fact, uh, here, uh, we have to be uh, firmer in that direction, uh, saying that uh, uh, um, we uh, have uh, ecological approaches, but uh, uh, we need also stakeholders uh, uh, who get invested in the renegotiation of the things at the level of a territory. This is a, a strategic, strategic turning point uh, in uh, accounting on biodiversity. So the question uh, which is raised uh, here today in a biodiversity accounting, uh, social and environmental uh, accounting, uh, there's been a shift uh, in the organization. The few texts uh, from uh, uh, talking about uh, new accounts and uh, new accounting uh, forms, and then some studies uh, uh, came up. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, shift uh, uh, to uh, calculation uh, practices uh, defined and uh, set up uh, within the device of uh, uh, management. So, uh, for instance, the red device, uh, in order to reduce uh, uh, emissions, uh, uh, the ecological account and uh, the impact uh, um, on a participative uh, um, management or, or a whole uh, reflection on uh, uh, accountings of uh, natural parks and uh, the way of this uh, natural parks uh, take into account uh, the ecological uh, issue in uh, the accounting systems. And uh, we, there's also a, a movement uh, uh, toward uh, uh, 
uh, accounting re reflection centered uh, on problems or matters of cares. And I just talk about uh, conceptualization uh, of uh, account system by uh, Daniel Roussel. So a uh, shift that goes uh, beyond uh, uh, the organization, uh, ecological organization, uh, but a shift toward uh, ecological accounting entities. Uh, we're still trying to define, to come up with a definition. Uh, the uh, question uh, raised uh, here is uh, uh, based on uh, the development of uh, accounting entities. Uh, uh, couldn't we uh, shift uh, to other forms of uh, accounting uh, uh, units uh, uh, while adopting an uh, interve strategic intervention uh, posture for biodiversity uh, while uh, trying to uh, devise uh, a model and methods uh, on and for the organization of conservation in these uh, new parameters and we have to define the, this new parameters or scopes and uh, this is uh, in collaboration with researchers uh, which who are the first one uh, to measure or account nature, and that's what we did in a seminar in Cambridge. Uh, uh, we put into the discussion, we organized a two, three day discussion uh, between a researcher in uh, social and environmental accounting who uh, constructed for decades uh, reflexivity on the usage uh, for action and uh, uh, researchers on uh, conservation who develop uh, all kinds of uh, accounting systems uh, but who are faced uh, with uh, limits in terms of uh, expected uh, changes on uh, the field. And uh, 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 this idea of uh, constructing uh, uh, accounting on new parameters, uh, this is not only a problem of social and environmental accounting, this is a wider uh, a problem in the field of research and uh, accounting uh, as for uh, standard but also critical forms. So my last point. In order to come back to care, it's always um, difficult to try to explain why we talk about uh, accounting on these new parameters, uh, because uh, often accounting is uh, related uh, to a conventional or historical parameter of uh, the development, which is the corporate um, and the state. Uh, parameter and the idea uh, based on uh, this uh, uh, ecocentric system uh, accounting is to uh, make exist another uh, place via accounting which is a place of uh, management coordination of actions uh, in order to complete uh, the frames the level of uh, at the corporate level or at the state level uh, so that uh, a company which uh, would apply care uh, uh, could uh, uh, inscribe its ecological contribution in a social uh, co uh, systems uh, in which uh, this uh, question would be addressed. <coughs> Thank you.